There are many good reasons why you would want to download a website, either for educational purposes or to get inspired for your own projects. First, we want to download HTTrack. After we download and install the program, we're going to open it up and we go on the next menu. Here we can give the project a name. And here we want to choose the path where the output should go, which in our case is desktop and in the new folder. Here we can put in the URL. In this case, it will be my private website. And we're going to click next. We just leave the settings here and we're going to click finish. And it's now going to download the whole website. Now we can click finish and check out the project folder. You have here some default files from HTTrack, which we can delete. Here is our folder we want to go to, and this is the index file. We can see it works quite well. What we can do now is edit the site. For that, we want to open up our code editor and drag the folder in. Now we go to the right folder, and here we can edit whatever we want. And now we see we successfully copied the website and we can use it for our educational purposes. Of course, not every website will work. A one page application or a complex website does not really work. But for small websites like this, it will work just fine. So what can you do with this website now? It's not illegal to download a complete website. How you're permitted to use that downloaded data is controlled by the copyright and terms and conditions posted on the website. So don't steal a code base or a design. Use this feature for educational purposes only because now you have the great power and we all know with great power comes great responsibility.